guys, my name is Joseph and today I'm going to share with you how I usually do portrait photography. I hope you would learn something from this. Of course, these are not the only way of doing portrait photography. I'm just sharing my own thing and again, I hope you would learn something from this. If you have any comments, suggestions or questions, you are welcome to leave them in the comment section down below. And let's go to the photo <laughs> Hello there, today we will be shooting with MR using my Nikon D5300 with a Nikkor 35mm f1.8 G lens. So let's go. <laughs> we did the photo shoot in our campus and just walked around and looked for different backgrounds that we think would suit the portrait photography. It's not my first time to shoot here but it's really cool that I still find new backgrounds that I could use for portrait shoots. You'll see me reminding MR to mess her hair up again and again because I think it adds volume to her hair which prevents it from looking flat in the photos. I tried experimenting with hair movement because I think it would look cool in the image so I instructed MR to play with her hair a little bit. We were going for somewhat a dark theme but then because of the background and what she wore I went for like a dark magical forest woodsy kind of theme. MR was a natural, she had her own thing so it was really kind of effortless shooting with her which was really fun. I told her to lean against the wall because I'd like to experiment with the moss green color of the wall and she just gave me different poses. I wasn't really planning on letting MR lie down on the ground but when she saw me <laughs> looking on the ground and I asked her if she could she just immediately lied down which was really cool because from there we've got very good photos she lied down saying for the sake of art again with the hair <laughs> When shooting portrait, you don't really need the entire background to look good. You just need a portion of that background and crop it to use it as the background of your portrait. As you can see here, we are able to crop a good background for our model when in fact it's just a portion of the turf from our campus. And that's my technique on how I get a good background, or at least I think it's good. I frame a specific part of the environment or of the venue and incorporate it onto the portrait. Alright, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe because it will really help out a lot. And I hope to see you on the next videos.